Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Spring series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a new Spring Boot project using the Spring Initializer. Okay, so let me zoom in here for you guys. And if you want to create a new Spring Boot project, you can go to start.spring.io. And here you can set everything you need to create a automatically generated project for Spring. So first, select if you want Maven or Gradle. Maven is what I prefer, but you can do Gradle if you're more familiar with Gradle. And that'll be just your uh, dependency manager, how you um, import dependencies and everything like that. And uh, so the language, I'm going to do Java. This is a Java Spring tutorial. And for the Spring Boot version, we're going to do Spring Boot 2.5.0. And that's good. So I'll leave everything on the default. And so here we can start setting some of the other values. So the group will do me.cody Simpson, which is basically just your base package. The artifact will be the name of the project, um, pretty much. Um, so we'll say, what, sh what should we call this? We'll call this my first spring project. Now you may, now you may be wondering what is the difference between spring and spring boot spring itself is just a framework for doing things like dependency management, uh, dependency injection, um, inversion of control, managing beans and all those kind of things and resources and configuration and a bunch of other different things we're going to learn about. But Spring Boot is essentially a framework that allows you to create Spring projects really easily and it sets everything up automatically for you so you don't have to do any configuration like, you know, bring in all the right dependencies and you don't have to worry about all those different things that you could mess up along the way and you don't have to go through so much work to create a Spring project. So Spring Boot also offers things like uh, automatic component scanning so it'll scan your base package for all of the beans that you want to find and stuff that we'll learn about in the future. But but in short, it's just a Spring framework that allows you to use Spring much more easily. Um, it gets you started um, and gets you able to code as fast as possible. And you don't have to worry about all of the small details that you have to usually worry about when you make a uh, Spring project from scratch. Okay, so it just does everything for you. And also it has something called starters, which are basically um, dependencies that you can bring in, which uh, it's just it just brings it in for you, and you don't have to worry about the versions, anything like that. All you gotta do is tell it what starters you want, like any of these here. So um, Spring Web Starter, um, any of the Spring projects, like Spring Web, Spring Security, Spring uh, Data. Uh, any of that stuff you can just bring them in as what's called starters in spring boot and that'll just uh, import everything you need without having to worry about the versions and stuff like that so it does all the work for you is what i'm trying to say so let's give it a description here we'll call it my first spring project using spring boot all right so this will give us a package name of me.cody simpson dot and then the class name will be my first spring project and so the packaging will do a jar file. You could do a war file, but I'm going to do a jar file. And uh, also I'm going to do Java 16. So there we go. So the latest version of Java. Oh, one other thing that I should tell you about is that Spring Boot also gives you a web server, a Tomcat server embedded within your Spring project automatically. So all you have to do is run the project and it already has the Tomcat Java EE server for you to do stuff like web development. And uh, it's, it just does so much work for you. You don't have to worry about setting up web, a web server for yourself or anything like that. It'll just do it for you. So um, yeah, it's just, it's awesome. So that's what we're gonna be using to make our Spring projects. And um, don't worry, we're still gonna learn about all of the core details that Spring Boot um, does for you, but we're gonna learn how to do them ourselves just so we can do more customization within our Spring projects. So. We're going to get as detailed as possible. This is just a way for us to get started more easily. And you'll see in older courses that they set everything up by a scratch, but that's a lot of work. So we're going to do it this way. And there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. So anyway, moving on, the last thing we want to choose is our dependencies. Obviously we haven't learned anything yet, so we don't really need any dependencies, but I guess just to get started and to show you um, how this works, I'm just going to choose one. We're going to do web. So we're going to bring spring web which is one of the Spring projects that allows you to build web applications like uh, Spring MVC and stuff like that. But anyway, so now that we're done setting everything and choosing what dependencies we want, we can hit, we can hit either Explore, which just shows you what the palm.xml is going to look like and some of the other details, which is pretty cool. You get a preview of what you're going to get from this. Um, or you can hit Download or Generate, rather. So it's going to give you everything inside of a zip file. Here we go. So now let's open this up. And as you can see, we have our project. So let's move this somewhere safe where we're actually going to use it. So let me go to my daddy drive <laughs> and go to development. And I'm going to go to Java. I'm going to make a new spring folder. How about that? 
spring framework. There we go. And in here I'll have all my spring projects. So I'm gonna put that there, control V to paste that. So to open this, I'm gonna to go to IntelliJ IDEA, then go to open, and we're going to find it. So spring framework, my first spring project, and click OK. And let's say we trust it. Okay. Okay, cool. So here's our project. It just finished uh, loading everything and all that stuff. So it imported the dependencies and everything like that. And so uh, in our main class here, we have the main method and it runs spring application dot run my first spring project application dot class, blah, blah, blah. So that's how you start the spring application. You just call that. We don't really have to worry about that. But we also have a spring boot application annotation here because this is indeed a spring boot application. And if you control Q here, you can see this is actually a essentially a grouping of other annotations. So we have target, retention, documented, inherited, spring boot configuration, enable auto configuration, and then component scan, which is something I kind of briefly mentioned a second ago, where it just scans all of the beans in the default package that we have here, or the base package that this is in right now. So we don't really have to worry about any of that. We're going to go into much more detail on a bunch of stuff later on. But this is our first spring project, and we can run this if you want to. So click the run button up here, and let's see if it starts. Awesome, so you can see that it said it started good in 0 0.837 seconds. Got some other information here. We can ignore all this. Scroll up all the way. And as you can see, it starts with this cool little thingy, Spring, Spring Boot 2.5.0. And you get some other information. So, so I did tell you that um, Spring Boot comes with Tomcat already embedded inside of it, which is really cool. So we do have a Tomcat server inside of our application here. So it's kind of crazy to think about. We have a Java server. I mean, we have a Java application, but it actually has a Tomcat web server inside of it too, which is really cool. Um, all we have to do is make a Spring Boot application and it does all that for us. That's one of the big benefits of Spring Boot. And uh, it just makes everything so easy for you. So let's go and take a look at the palm.xml so we can see what else uh, Spring Boot allows us to do. So we have Java version 16, has some other metadata here. But down here we can see we have these things called starters, which are, like I said, the Spring projects that, we've, that we're have that we trying to bring into our application. So they're called starters for Spring Boot because it's automatically managed by Spring Boot. Um, it just it handles all of the versioning and all that stuff for you. So it just brings in what you need and you don't have to worry about the rest. You just tell it what you want and it gives it to you. So we have the Spring Boot starter for web, we have the Spring Boot starter for testing, and we also have the Spring Boot Maven plugin down here. So yeah. Uh, that's basically all we got. And we also have a resources uh, folder here, but it's empty. We also have the applications.properties folder here, a file here, but it's empty. And we'll learn all about that later on. We have the test stuff here for testing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how you make a Spring Boot project using the Spring Initializer project on start.spring.io. That's how you can create any new Spring project. But there's also one way I want to show you something pretty cool is that if you have IntelliJ, you can go to File, New, Project, and I think you need Ultimate for this, but you can go down to Spring Initializer, and Spring Initializer is actually built into IntelliJ, which is really cool. So you don't even need to go to start.spring.io and then download the file and bring it in. You can just make a new project using this tool, and it just as it, it does everything for you much easily, much more easily. So you can choose the version, you can give it a name, blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and create this. You can choose all of your Spring Boot starters and dependencies that you want to bring in, all these projects here, and click Finish, New Window, and it does everything for you now. You don't have to get the zip file, you know, take everything out. It's just going to generate everything for you, which is really cool. So, like I said, I think you need IntelliJ Ultimate for this, but uh, yeah, you can use just the regular one if you need to. All right, so that's all I got for this episode. That's how you create a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer. And uh, all you got to do is tell it what you want and it'll give it to you and then you bring it into IntelliJ. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you liked it, leave a like. If you need to see more, subscribe and peace.